वेलकम माई नेम इज मोहम्मद दानिश नाफे एंड आई एम एन इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी कंसल्टेंट वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाइंग इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी थ्रू दिस सीरीज आई विल शेयर सम बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी रेलिवेंट टू टूडेज वर्ल्ड दिस सीरीज इज इंटेंडेड फॉर द मिड टू सीनियर लेवल इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी प्रोफेशनल सीकिंग टू इंक्रीज देयर नॉलेज इन द एरिया ऑफ आई एस डोमेन सिंस दिस इज द फास्ट चेंजिंग फील्ड योर इनपुट इज इंपॉर्टेंट At the end of every episode I will leave you with a few points to think about and would love to have your feedback. Today I will be talking about security controls. Security controls can be categorized in many ways. One of the way is to categorize by the way of implementation. With this methodology the security control have three types. administrative controls technical controls and physical controls the first type of administrative controls are implemented through management policies and documents examples of such controls are policy standard baselines guidelines and procedures you may have come across these terms before and today we will look at each of them in depth Policies are high level documents which are approved by top management. Policy is mandatory. For example, there is no choice for an employee to agree or disagree with acceptable use policy of the organization. Policies are also high level. They do not dive into specifics of technology and versions. For example, you will not see the term Windows 10 in policy. Rather, it will mention the high level term of operating system. This saves the management approval process due to operational update of versions. The basic components of a policy are purpose, scope, responsibilities and compliance. Standards describe the specific use of technology. For example, all laptops and mobile devices will be encrypted using AES with key length of 256 bits. As you notice in the above statement, standards are mandatory and specific. Having a standard helps creating homogeneous environment with easier recovery procedures. Baselines are uniform ways of implementing a standard. Images of operating system with OS hardening is an example of baseline. Unlike the above, guidelines are discretionary. They are recommendations which suggest how an employee is expected to act. They are derived from the best practices. they are useful especially for the novice users for example a new user can be given a guideline for following the organization password policy procedures are the most detailed and specific of all these documents they define step by step actions to complete a specific task procedures are mandatory if any of the steps are missing in procedure the task may not be accomplished other examples of management controls are training awareness reward mechanism and approval process historically some of the organizations have tried to merge these controls into one single policy which can create a risk of documents being outdated and irrelevant the next type is technical controls technical controls are implemented by using software hardware or technical means they are also called logical controls the example of technical controls are intrusion detection system intrusion protection system firewalls routers os hardening encryption and many others security professionals spend majority of their time in implementing and maintaining technical controls the last type of physical controls are implemented with tangible mechanisms to protect information examples include man trap fences lighting locks hvac guard dogs human security guards and other similar controls usually these controls are implemented by physical security team can you list down some of the controls around you what best practices are you looking to implement let's discuss